Hello everybody, it's Wednesday and we have another BOGO today, BOGO Day 3. Today's BOGO is very simple and basic, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so let's go over it. Let's um, look at what we have today. Buy the lavender, 15 milliliter, get the 15 milliliter peppermint for free. Okay, lavender and peppermint, go-to oils for everything. Um, I love that they're doing so many basics this week with the with the BOGOs. You use them for everything, you use them up, you need to replenish your stock, and so why not do it for free? Um, okay, so let's talk about what we're going to use lavender for. Everybody knows lavender is for calming and sleeping and that kind of thing, um, and absolutely it is. You can put it in your diffuser, you can um, rub a little on the bottom of your big toe, Remember I talked the other day about the printable with the, with the um, reflex points for the feet to use the lavender uh, for the feet for sleeping. Um, you could put a drop on your pillow. You could make a DIY linen spray out of it. You can, um, you can just do so many things with it. That's just for calming. You, you can combine it with all sorts of things in your diffuser as you like. Um, another good thing that lavender is for is uh, if you touch a hot pan while you're cooking and burn your finger, you can put lavender directly on it and it will help a lot. Um, one thing to note about lavender is that some people have the opposite reaction. It is uh, typically something that will calm your brain and calm your body. Um, it will kind of relax everything, but some people have the opposite reaction. It seems to me that that's um, fairly typical with, with kids and adults who have lots of excess energy anyway, highly distractible, um, that kind of thing. So, you know, those might be the kids that you maybe give some coffee to to calm them down, right? You know what I'm talking about. So kind of opposite. So keep that in mind. Um, obviously, there are other things you can do with it if that is not going to work for you or your family or or certain people in your family. There are other oils you could use for sleeping. Um, a lot of the tree oils, frankincense, cedarwood, a lot of people have good luck with, um, well not good luck, but good results with uh, copaiba or even wild orange. Um, and the adaptive uh, line, which is brand new as of a month ago, is just getting incredible rave reviews. You really should check that out. Serenity, our sleep blend, our restful blend, has lavender in it, so keep that in mind too. Now, uh, lavender is the one you buy, okay? Today's BOGO, and you are allowed to do this up to five times on your account today, today only, so jump in there. The peppermint is the one you get for free. Um, now, what can you use peppermint for? It's almost opposite in some ways. It's the one that wakes you up. It's the one that you might put in your diffuser with wild orange to get the room happy again, <laughs> get everybody in the room alert and awake and in a happy mood. Uh, you might uh, do some diffusing in the car on the way to school with peppermint. Um, maybe you prefer lavender if you've got some wildlings in the morning. Um, peppermint is wonderful if your head is hurting, you have some tension in your neck, anything like that. Peppermint's the one you want for that. It is also one of the um, main oils in Breathe and Digest Zen, which we just had this week, um, and that is because it opens up your airways. It will um, just kind of open everything up and help you breathe better and, and wake everything up. Now both of these oils, lavender and peppermint, are safe to take internally. The reason you know that, and I only do this with doTERRA, I do not trust anybody else um, because you, you've got the supplement facts on the bottle. If you're looking at a doTERRA bottle and it's got supplement facts like it's a food label, then you know it's safe to take internally. You can check the number on the bottom and go to source2u.com, spelled out source2u, and look up the testing results for that bottle that you are holding in your hand. doTERRA is very um, transparent in all of their testing. They do more testing than anybody else and they have the exclusive contract uh, for purchasing with the growers on 80 or 85 percent of our oils. I believe it's a very high number. So we get first dips and if something, if a batch does not meet our testing requirements, we don't buy it. Guess who does? The other guys. 
Okay, so let's let's stick with the ones we know, right? If it's got supplement fats on it, you can take it internally. Well, maybe you don't want to, you know, take it directly necessarily. It depends on what it is and what you're trying to solve. But um, you can do that with peppermint. Peppermint is wonderful for digestion. Now it's going to be pretty strong if you just do it like that. You might want to put it in a capsule, put a drop in your water. But it also means you can cook with these. You can put them into your food. I often, in fact, my daughter loves to make uh, cupcakes and, and fancy cakes and all of that. So she uses peppermint a lot in the, the frosting and the, maybe the cake batter. Um, you can do lavender. I have uh, some recipes on my blog, crazyquiltmama.com. Um, I've linked some of doTERRA's recipes and they have tons more on their blog, doTERRA.com, um, using oils in the kitchen. Some fantastic things you can do. My favorite right now, if it's not cupcakes, <laughs> it would be to put a drop um, of peppermint into my mocha coffee drink thing that I'm going to be drinking all winter. Or maybe the kids hot chocolate. Now one drop might be too much. It's quite a bit, right? You could put one drop in the, the um, coffee filter thing and run, run your coffee through that so that it's one drop for the whole pot, right? That's one way to do it. Um, you could also take a toothpick. Let's see if you can see that. And kind of just gently poke it into the center there and dip it into the oil so that you get just the tiniest bit on the end of the toothpick and swirl that into your coffee or your hot chocolate or whatever you're going to do. Okay, so that's a, a way to get just a little bit of the flavor, and you get the you get the health benefits as well, um, especially if it's not a cooked item. The heat might destroy the health benefits, but you're still going to get the peppermint flavor in your brownies or your chocolate bark or whatever you're making. But if you're doing it in a, um, say, a, I'm sorry, I just got a snow a snow delay thing for tomorrow. Ugh, ugh, yuck. Okay. Um, if it's uncooked, then you're going to get the health benefits too. And of course, you're smelling it and you're going to get the emotional benefits because um, aromatically, smelling, diffusing, that's the best way to get the emotional benefits of the oils. And of course, peppermint is very uplifting. And lavender, of course, would be calming. And there, I saw a recipe this morning for, um, I think it said blackberry lavender scones. I thought, oh my gosh, I got to make those. That sounds really, really good. Um, what else? Oh, I know. I was going to say about the toothpicks. So, you know they have those flavored toothpicks that you can kind of chew on. Like, say, if you're quitting smoking, you're trying not to eat too much, and you, you just need something. To... So, um, those are obviously not all natural, unless you buy the special ones that are. I suppose they might have those. But you can do that with your oils, too. You could take, I would say, maybe a glass spice jar, an empty one, and put a couple drops of, I would go for the peppermint, or you could maybe do cinnamon or cassia, which is like cinnamon. Um, black pepper helps with smoking cravings. Um, put a couple drops in the bottom, maybe just a little skosh of coconut oil or olive oil to kind of um, spread it around. Fill it with toothpicks and put the lid on and let it sit for a little bit so it soaks it up and then you have something really wonderful to chew on or just kind of fiddle with and it will help you and you'll get the benefits from it. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of ideas. Uh, for today's BOGO. Now remember, don't buy retail. You're paying too much. Get your account. Pay 25% less on everything all year long, including the very first order right from the get-go. Um, you can add on today's BOGO. You're allowed to do it up to five times on your account today. If you don't want that many yourself, first of all, it's a great way to stock up for a, for a great price. Um, but if you don't want that many, maybe you can go in with a friend and save a little shipping, go in together this week on different orders. Um, if you order the any of the kits, or a kit plus a, a thing or two, a BOGO or an extra thing, um, and your total enrollment order, because you're a brand new customer, is 100 points or more, not dollars, but points, then you get 50 points to spend next month on more things. So make yourself a little wish list on the side because you're gonna get that next month and it's perfect for Christmas, right? The Christmas gifts for yourself maybe, <laughs> or that thing you wanted to try and now you can try it for free. Okay, so go to my blog, crazyquiltmama.com. 
Um, there's a post about enrolling with the BOGOs and direct links to just go right to it and say, get me this one and just do it. Um, you uh, can also check out all of those recipes and links to other DIY projects and information about why oils work, what they do chemically, scientifically. All of that is there. And um, you can email me, you can message me if you need any kind of help at all. Remember, today's BOGO is only good for today, Wednesday. It's, uh, it's over tonight and tomorrow will be something else. So if you want it, jump in there and grab it. You can do it up to five times today. Let me know if you have questions, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye-bye.